right, it's one of the most iconic classic sandwiches in America. We're talking about the cheeseburger. It is a popular sandwich any way you stack it, and you'll love today's say recipe because it's combining the cheeseburger with another love. Another classic. Another love. And someone else we love, U of I student chef Dana Kola is here to share the recipe with the Bevere Cafe. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you for having me. So we're combining cheeseburgers and... Mac and cheese. Mac mm. and cheese. Two staples. Yes. In two American staples cuisine. in American diets. Yes. yes. So what do we need to get started? Okay, so we already have the onion sauteing in here and a little bit of garlic too. We're getting the ground beef browned right here with some salt and pepper in there. We could actually have the pepper over there, oh, toss sure. that on in. All of it? Yeah, all of it. Toss it on in there. Something you'll learn, Dana, Matt and I are real salt fiends here. So I'm oh, hoping mm -hmm. you've already covered Oh, I already salted the base. it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I already covered that base for you. Great. Okay, yeah. so then just get that mixed up. Mm -hmm. Get it mixed in just like that. And then we could start adding in all of our other ingredients. So we have some tomatoes, some tomato paste and some Dijon mustard, okay. which we're going to add in right now. So okay. we could just add in all those tomatoes. Great. You think tomato season's about over? I think just about. Okay. Yeah. But these ones are still really good. Okay. They're nice and red. And then the tomato paste, we could actually use a spoon, too. Thank you. It's a little I bit stuck in there. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, it's a little thicker in it. I mean, that's the idea, right, you, of tomato paste is you want kind of the, you mm -hmm. need a little bit of the, the power that's mm -hmm. in the paste, while at the same time, you already have enough tomatoes. Yeah, it's a little so. bit of a thickening agent. You could just mix yeah. that oh, up right there. Go well, ahead. Put me to work. Yes, there you sure. go. Do it. Sure. She's seen this show. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and then um, the Dijon mustard we can add into right now. All right, I'll help you with that. Thank yes, you. Yes, great. What are we wanting these tomatoes to do? Just we want them to up? just get a little bit softened up, and then we want to thicken a little bit too as we mix it up. Okay. And then we already have some pre cooked pasta here, which we will mix in with a full ground beef mixture. And then we'll top it with cheese and some pickle and put it in the oven and get all baked real nice. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, this, so this goes on later. Is the yes. pickle going to be good in that? I mean, that's the only ingredient I'm kind of like, mm. Yeah, see, there's not that many pickle lovers out there. And that's a lot of the feedback I got when I did the test recipe in Bavier Cafe. Okay. So a lot of people like it on the side or they like it on there. I think it makes it taste really good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, fan, so I'm a huge I pickle say, fan. Bring them on. Yeah. Yes. Give me this. I'll, yeah. I'll scrape it out for you. Oh, so you okay. mentioned that this was a test recipe at the Bavier Cafe. So yes. it's not on the menu yet, not but yet. it will be. Hopefully. Okay, so what was on the menu today? Today we had some chicken fingers on the menu. Mm. And Yum. then what else was today? I wasn't in there today. They well, always have really yes. good dessert though. Yes, desserts. Oh, <laughs> always. Their pumpkin pie is so, so good. So Dana, while this goes, what year are you? I'm a senior. You're a senior. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. And so what avenue, because I knew they do uh, uh, several different types of students, several yes. different majors make their way through the Bavir. So what is your focus? I am in dietetics, so I want to become a registered dietitian. Excellent. Yes. So do we want to talk about health benefits of this recipe? No, we don't today. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. Fair <laughs> enough. Okay. That's good. Some, some foods are just meant to be delicious, yes. and, and these are your uh, comfort foods. Yes, yes, definitely. This is good. Okay. Are we needing anything else? I kind of I kind of been stirring. Not yet. We are no? good to go until we put it in a pan and then put it in the oven. So this okay. needs to thicken up a little bit more. Oh, and then we'll okay. be good to go. Excellent. So definitely things to check out. Do you do you have a menu that you do regularly at the Bavere? Yes, it's a two week rotating menu. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So you so when's your next day? My next day, I am in there on Wednesdays and Fridays and I'll be in hot foods this week. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So Is when that you your go favorite? over there. I don't know yet. It's my, it's my oh. first time in there. Okay. She's yes. a senior. She's learning the ropes is, is how it goes. So the next yep. time you're over there, definitely visit Dana. And we're going to visit with her a little bit later in the show That's here right. and get the big final reveal. Thanks for yes. being here. We Thank appreciate it. Thank you for having it. me. The recipe is on CILiving.tv right now in case you're interested in making it for dinner. I think my work here is done. Yeah, you've done all, you've done all, well, you, know, you still need to taste though. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'll definitely do that. <laughs> well, it's a game 